welcome to the STS and this is the Gigabyte GeForce GT730 powered by NVIDIA a 1 gigabyte DDR5 graphics card is it the best budget graphics card around let's find out so this guy right over here comes overclocked right out of the box to 1006 megahertz so that's really great gigabyte actually overclocked it at the factory itself so if you have a PC with a window or a side glass panel this one looks pretty good and it's gonna look dope on that side glass panel PC so the GT730 gives you a nice 45 to 55 FPS on GTA 5 at 1280 by 720 everything runs smooth in there at Grand Theft Auto being a budget graphics card when GTA 5 at these frame rates is actually a big deal for 50 bucks you're getting a nice GTA 5 gaming brig and also this one does a good job of video editing for 1080p this one renders a 10 minute long video in 10 minutes so that's pretty cool right 10 on 10 most of the games in the market like the Forza series or the Need for Speed series or even the Assassin's Creed series till Syndicate runs like butter on this thing and all of these in 1280 by 720 resolution now here's one of the most important parts overclocking so this guy is overclocked out of the box but still to get some more out of it I overclocked with a 150 bump on each of the core clock and memory and that is what I recommend doing because at these settings it runs awesome without any crashes or, or artifacts and also no overheating for more on overclocking check out my video right over that i button and that large cooling fan doesn't let it overheat even after overclocking and in harsh gaming conditions now if you want to play games like metro last light or gta 5 at 4k then this is probably not your graphics card a very intensive games like these and at very high resolutions it sometimes struggles and yeah it's it's and it's a budget graphics card it's not a flagship alright so here's the final verdict of mine that this one is a really great graphics card if you want a budget graphics card under 60 bucks and then this is exactly what you're waiting for the GDDR5 memory does help a lot it's a great bang for the buck but if you want to play heavy intensive games like at 4k or if you are really a youtuber and do um, pretty high resolution video editing then this might not be for you so i guess that ends it thank you for watching guys hope you all liked it and enjoyed it hit that like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more reviews like this and i'll catch you guys in the next one